La Baya there is a um, dramatic, romantic story. It's a, a love triangle between Solo, Nikaya and Edith. Uh, it takes place in India. The scene from Baya Day that will be uh, the most iconic scene that we're going to be bringing to the stage is the Kingdom of the Shades. It's the white act, so it's pure classical ballet. Someone once told me that simplicity in ballet is not actually simplicity, it's sophistication of purity of classical line, and that is the epitome of what this scene is. With our cast, we have 16 to 20 girls, all doing these beautiful arabesques down a ramp, which was really, really difficult. And it all culminates in this moment of stillness of all these women standing on point, white tutus, point shoes, stillness and exquisite music. It's so great to be a part of. It's something that every ballerina wants to do. Well, I think they're working on this every day uh, at, in class with their point shoes on the adage. It requires a lot of balance and control. It's the difficulty of it, but the beauty of it, you don't see that it is difficult. That's when you succeed. For me, this is going to be a big challenge because the solo that I'm rehearsing has always been one of those solos that I think is beautiful and iconic and amazing, but has petrified me my entire ballet career. It's very slow développés, so much control and pure quick musicality, but more difficult and uh, more difficult versions of the steps. So we're looking up Mount Everest at this point. <laughs> requires a, a very strong corps de ballet and the ladies need to have uh, the same identity and the same way of dancing and the same quality. If someone at the front brings their leg down, the entire group does that too, all at the same time. You have to feel like you are completely breathing together. Sandy says that to us all the time. Breathe together, girls. Breathe together. You are one dancer. Can't wait to see what it looks like on that first night on stage. I think it is a very interesting ballet because it has a bit of everything. If you know the romantics, the classic, if you know Giselle, if you know Swan Lake, if you know Sleeping Beauty, in this ballet, it has it all. You are transported to, to another place, I think, when you come and see it. So if you want to travel, come and travel at the ballet. <laughs> there's so much drama, there's so much tragedy, but then you do have these moments of pure classical sophistication within it. And I think if you want a taste test of everything that ballet is about, Labaya is ballet for you.